thing. I haven't yet. It is so. Po- I'm like, okay, Tate, we're watching this One Piece. We're gonna watch one episode. <laughs> one episode like of One Piece. Dear fanatics and Camp Fun Days campers, it has it's been me. brought to our attention <laughs> that there may be an issue with the stickering on this year's Fun Days box of fun. Well, and then Mike Mike Becker will come up and we'll do a taste test of that sandwich. Hey, why didn't he put it on his Instagram? Yeah, he should have did the little. Twirl he should thing. like yeah, the yeah, sandwich like, thing. We're trying, the, you know, the Funko sandwich today. <laughs> <laughs> fun, maker fun maker Mike. <laughs> Your collection is burning down. We know our favorite of it. You're burning down. You got time to grab one. And it can't be a fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> What's it gonna be? Hey guys. Welcome back <laughs> to the Funko King. No, I'm just kidding. Uh welcome back to the Pop Hunt Thrills Podcast. Pop Hunt Cast. Pop Hunt we cast. got some go. guests in the house. Let's go. Yes. Who are, if you guys didn't know, let us know who you guys are. Go ahead, Jay. We are the Funko Kings. The nice. Funko Kings. We've been on YouTube. How long? Two years, three in, years? In the height of COVID. In, 2020. in the height of COVID. In 2020, that's oh. when they started. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So, like I said, in every podcast, I like to kind of start off with how we met our guest and how we built a relationship with our guest some we don't have relationships with but with you guys we got a special relationship special we met when did we meet well i will tell you how we met because i caught wind of your store about to open Mm -hmm. down here at arizona mills the first location down here yeah on a facebook group of some sort i don't remember it was a funko group in phoenix or something i don't even remember and there was a little hype of that, hey, there's actually going to be a Funko store in Arizona Mills. In Arizona Mills. This is going to be crazy. And it was like over Thanksgiving or it was somewhere around that time. Do you want to know actually who it was? It was actually a gentleman that works at, um, what was the store in front of our stores? Just Sports. Was just it Sports. Yeah, Just oh, Sports. Okay. okay. So one of the managers in there, he collects oh, Funko right Pops. On. And he just saw the logo and saw the sign in the yeah. front. Took a picture of it and posted it on the group. Yeah, that's what it was because so. I saw that and I sent it to Tate. And I'm like, yo, we got to get down there on Black Friday or something. It was around. I just remember being Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, it was that I, week before it was week. Black Friday. Well, that's when we opened okay. the store. And so we came down here. I mean, it's not close for us to get down here. So yeah. we were like, but we're going to go. And mm-hmm. so we came down and I actually had reached out to you on privately Instagram. and said, hey, here's who we are. We got this little baby channel. But we'd love to come in. You were cool. You were like, hey, why don't you come in? I'll show you behind the scene. I mean, you immediately took us in. Yeah. That, which, was, which was cool. For me, it's I, like any small creators, I like to support. Yeah. Whether you're uh, 100 people, because at one point, we only had 100 followers on Instagram. Right, right. Um, you know what I mean? So at one point, if I blow up or if you guys blow up someday, yeah, you guys become these really good friends with Mike Becker or whoever, right. blah, blah, blah. We know, I know because I supported you guys when you guys started. And Family. you guys needed content. Yes. I'm all down for whatever you guys want yeah. to create. Yeah. Um, and if You're you guys are cool, down. if you guys were if you guys weren't cool, I would maybe would invite you like once to the store. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. No, nah, <laughs> you guys you. were really cool. Well, I, 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 we could tell right off the bat that you had mm-hmm. that vibe of creators. Now, I think a father son backstory is kind of cool yeah. and easy to understand. Yeah. And like during COVID, and we can get into why we did what we did, but. I think you saw our relationship and was like, yeah. Yeah, this is cool. I like the energy. You know what? It, I told you guys it reminded me of um, what's inside, guys. The dad and the son, the mm-hmm. ones that would cut things in half. I don't know if you've seen them on YouTube. They're know, like huge. I remember oh, where they take things and they open them. Cut things in yeah, half yeah, to yeah, see yeah, what's yeah. inside of them. So I was like, they give me that same energy. Yeah, that's funny. And I was like. We have them here in Arizona. Why not bring them in? Why not bring, you know make them part of the family, part of the community? They like collecting. Yeah. And for me, honestly, it's it's not even about whether you will buy from me. I don't care if you buy or not from me. I want to give you content for your channel because now that we're trying to create content, it's hard to come up with content. It's hard. So it's like if they're starting and they're blowing up and they're getting a good following. Like, I want to give you guys as much content Man, as well, I we can possibly it. can. We've gotten a whole lot. 
from you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah absolutely. So absolutely. That's kind of the goal is to like work with you guys. So if you guys blow up someday, hey, we know Funko Kings has our back. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, yeah and you know 100%. they we kind of support each other and help each other. And we're both in Arizona, and why not put Arizona on the map? Man, you know what real. I mean? Yep. Yeah. So that's where I kind of came in, and it's like, yeah, if you guys want to come in, do whatever you guys want in the store. Um, well, create. I can remember going in that store because mm-hmm. it was early in the process for us starting <coughs> to really collect. And I was like, man, this is like a real thing because I I started get wanting to do something to get with him and bond, mm-hmm. create this channel was just kind of something to do. But then when I saw, wow, this really is like a, not about making money, but I could see the value in. Because I, I collected baseball cards as a kid, right? So yeah. it resonated with me, and especially the way Funko was so smart in mm-hmm. them going Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Masters of the Universe, all these things that relate to 40-year-old guy okay. can get into because it was nostalgic, right? And, and they then got they have guys. the next generation lower than me with all of the fairly odd parent, whatever these things are. I, I couldn't even tell you, but that next layer down, and then you got his... And the Marvels and the DCs yeah. and all that stuff. But, I mean, walking into your store, even the first one, I'm like, man, this thing has got some good There's stuff. something there to yeah. it. Yeah. There's there. something more than just these little tiny toys, you know. Right. There's a community yeah. to it. Yeah. There's an aspect to it. Um, so it's cool to see that part of it. Um, and I, it's cool to hear that from you, coming from you, that – when you saw our store, it kind of gave you like, oh, cool, there's something here. Yeah. For so sure. I'm going to keep going at it. I know. And and continue it. Um, so basically, what, what got you guys started into, what was the first thing that got you guys into collecting? We were just bored and wanted <laughs> something. And I knew about them. And I thought, wow, those are cool. It has everything. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you got to get in on this because I always try to put him in on things that i like yeah tate is very smart uh-huh. and if he understood early if i would bankroll this thing uh-huh. he could get a lot of really <laughs> cool pops i yeah. mean let's just be real <laughs> but what was kind of cool is because he had gotten a few pops early from mom and him uh-huh. running around and i'm like this is ridiculous because <laughs> we did the same thing with pokemon Okay. Like, mom and Tate, Pokemon Go, all the time. And I'm left by myself at home, and I'm watching them leave, chasing shinies, doing whatever. And I'm going, I obviously got to get into Pokemon because I'm just getting left out of the game. (laughs) Yeah. And I could see this happening with Funko. And then he Uh becomes the biggest fan of any of us. (laughs) I am. I'm like Pokemon. I'm just that kind of guy, though. Yeah. When I go all in on something, I go all Mm -hmm. in on something. So Mm -hmm. the whole YouTube part, how how did that come? Like what? So yeah, you kind of started getting into them, and then we started. We started. He had a few pops, and we started looking at pops, Uh and then we decided, okay, what if we make a YouTube channel? Mm -hmm. COVID was hot and heavy. He was out of school. Like, it was the the crosshairs of COVID. Um. This guy doesn't play sports, never was a Mm -hmm. sports kid. My oldest was all sports. I coached every single thing that he did. Mm -hmm. So we had to figure something out. COVID gave us an opportunity. He's at home. I'm working, but at home. Mm -hmm. Um, So we just started having some fun ideas of what if we made a channel. There's so much YouTube stuff out there. Like, what if we create a channel around this Funko? Um, Let's do this father doesn't know much, kid knows all bantering where i can kind of be an idiot <laughs> um but he would explain it to me yeah. we'd unbox something uh uh-huh. we actually started with silly like uh mysteries like mom took some of the pops that he had and then we started ordering a ton of pops yeah and she cut them in the garage and would wrap them so we didn't know what we would be getting uh-huh. and then we would have battles right we would uh-huh. just it was just easy content for us to be able to take some of the pops we had put them in boxes we didn't know where they went mm-hmm. and the stuff that we had ordered during covid mm-hmm. and it was just like i said it introduced us to making content what would you say that <laughs> would you say <laughs> all that what could i say after that <laughs> said so it all. how did how did you feel about your dad wanting to start recording things for youtube well i had a youtube channel oh you already oh, had one yeah really? that's right okay. talk like, about that talk about that <laughs> it was you know every Everybody does it at some point. Like yeah. a little channel where Tater Talks. 
Don't tater tots. look it up. Yeah, <laughs> Don't look it up, right? <laughs> we did like five videos and we thought, okay, that's <laughs> little guy. I mean, he was little. That's uh, over. So we kind of knew. You know what? Like, you want to know what's fun. funny is I went and saw Top Pops because we are, were always brainstorming ideas. And I went back to his very first video. Oh, for real. Mm. And like, he is this little young little kid. He like seven plus years. Um, because I was asking, I was asking Angel, I was like, how do you feel that, that he shows up to Nashville and he just walks up to fun on the run and they let him in the bus yeah. and he has all this special privilege because he's right. a YouTuber. Right. And Angel's all like, well, yeah, I, you know, it, it's kind of like not fair. Right. But then I went like, look at this guy. Yeah. He put in work. He grinded. He put in seven years he grinds. of videos. That's that's what Tate told me because I'm like, how does this guy have that many subs? Like, I mean, he's doing content, but he does it all the time. Like, that's his gig. He uploads. And all he was the horrible. Time. That first video was. <laughs> you look at it, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't anything crazy, and it was awkward, and it was like weird. Which I'm <laughs> guessing his channel is like that. But yeah. I feel like everybody's first video is like that, you know? So. Yeah. Oh, oh, we watch ours all the time. <laughs> Just we go back and I, we'll see. Our channel is yeah, live. Yeah, that's our first line. Our channel is live. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh my gosh. But I think from a dad perspective of mm -hmm. making the channel, half of it was I knew these would be captured, these age moments, right, of okay. yeah. him being little guy. I didn't know how long we would do it. It could have mm -hmm. been over in a minute. But watching, going back and watching these, and I have them, right? We're not going to mm -hmm. lose that. Yeah. And then having my mom a part of that, and yeah. then we lost her. So getting those videos with her in yeah. it, you got to know her. Yeah. I mean, that stuff is – you can't buy that. Like, yeah. that's just gold, right? Yeah. So I think – I think looking back, it's like it was such a win for us, and yeah. the right thing to do, the right moment, the right product, the right niche, like yeah. money. Because Tate's like growing up, he's, he's like, like about to get a job. Man. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's about job. turning sixteen in a couple in a week. It, it oh, goes wow. fast. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, his little voice and his little <laughs> body. People are like, "Is that Tate?" Like, is people have seen him grow up? We yeah. got a lot of. Uh, I mean, we've had a lot of subscribers that have been with us from the beginning yeah, mm -hmm. and have commented all the time. And they're saying, man, it's been so fun to watch Tate grow up and feel like yeah. I'm part of you guys. Like yeah. that, that part's cool. Yeah. That's that sounds super very cool. cool. Yeah. That sounds like a beautiful thing to kind of yeah. implement into your YouTube videos. Oh man. Yeah. I'd what is something that you feel like you would want to ask them? What you got? What you mm, got? Nothing really. I mean, off the top of my head, how, how was it like, you know, I guess like the setup, like setting up everything. Like, has it got any <laughs> gotten any easier? For, like, as of we're now, pretty ghetto, or, man. We're pretty we've ghetto. Stayed we we stayed <laughs> humbled with our assembly. Uh -huh. If anybody saw how uh, we set up, I've man, seen it. We've <laughs> seen it. It's pretty bad. It's Which pretty bad. It's but it's funny it, to think we spend a lot of money on pops, and our setup has not changed <laughs> since, from day one. Since the first it's video, we have the invested. same cardboard box. Yeah, the uh -huh. same. Second here's, box here's that holds the phone up. <laughs> here's how we do it. All right, go there. We have a table uh -huh. right in front of us, and we put a big cardboard box <laughs> there. Yeah. And then give we away put our secrets, man. A little cardboard box. If you want to be successful on YouTube, listen to <laughs> Invest in Boxes. Yeah. <laughs> we put a little cardboard box on that one, mm -hmm. and that's where we set up the phone. The phone doesn't oh. move, Just though, and we know the spot because it's the same boxes every time. So we know the angle. Uh -huh. No mic. No mics. No. <laughs> Thank God for oh, a good oh, iPhone. Oh, oh, And then. <laughs> Selfie camera, right, too. And then five months later, we got our one lighting. Oh, yeah, we got a light. <laughs> we got a ring light. <laughs> it's broken. Did it, yeah, about halfway through, we went. <laughs> but then we just go with it. We just. And that's what we. But yeah. we spend thousands on pops, but we are terrible. See, you have your point. investments in place. You're yeah, going for pops. We have our priorities. But you know what? We watch <laughs> videos and be honest with you. It's like. Okay, we might have better mic sound. Might sound a little bit far away, mm -hmm. but it's fine. It's fine, right? And I think raw, that's authentic. You like, guys are authentic, and people see the the the. You guys are give your opinions on what it is that you like and what you don't like, <laughs> and angry. what it doesn't matter. Sometimes you make Tate angry because uh, <laughs> you're yeah, because Dad doesn't know much, but. You know, it's it, and we talk about this on a video that we did on your guys' channel. So if you guys are watching this, go to that video because yeah. Papa here is upset. 
with Funko right now, and we gave our opinions about what what's going on in that part of the community. So make sure you guys go to their and channel and check that out. Sticker gate. Sticker gate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But you guys are genuine. Like I said, you guys are genuine. It shows on the camera. You guys are alive. You guys, um, would you say it's like a persona? Yeah. That comes out, or how, I, how do you? I feel? don't think so. I think what's funny is I think the camera. We don't change our personalities mm -mm, at all. No, like we are just who we are. Like, yeah. and I think that's why the authenticity is there because Tate and I have a really good relationship. Like, we're two peas in a pod. I mean, yeah, we like almost everything the same, and so it's it just comes across that way. And you want to know where it comes from, Grandma. Yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because she was really cool. No, Grandma had it going on. She she yeah. loved both boys. Spoiled me. Spoiled them. So when she got to be a piece of this and mm -hmm. get on video, mm -hmm. she, she hammed it. it up and <laughs> yeah. loved it and loved. I mean, yeah, she was all about it. Mm -hmm. cool. And so it, it's. I mean, it's fun now to capture that and go back and watch her be so silly. Yeah. With so much of the crazy stuff we made her do, you know, yeah. that, that's part of fun. But when we turn that camera on, we're pretty authentic with what we think about things. And we get blown up yes. in comments and yeah. we get a lot of people saying you two are the best father son duo on YouTube yeah. because you are real. And you know what? We don't like that either. Or we do. You guys are wrong and anime is the best. And, mm -hmm. But we we try not to hate on everything because it's yeah. only our opinion. Right. Mm -hmm. But yeah. It's one of those things that people get offended because we don't <laughs> like comic books, but we love the comic book mm -hmm. part, part of Funko. Yeah. <laughs> and so we like literally <laughs> been going, it's like, there's some crazy stuff If you stuff were that guy there. who commented Sorry. lately, <laughs> and <laughs> we love that comment, actually. We do. We are, we're kind of, because we just, you mm -hmm. could go down the rabbit hole of going back and forth with the people commenting on yeah. you yeah. and get so caught up in the, dude, you didn't, blah, 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 blah. And it's almost like when we get one of these comments, we just start cracking up because There's we don't take it personally. Ones. No, you yeah. already know what's coming. Yeah, I mean, when you put yourself out yeah. there, you're not going to please everybody. I mean, yeah. it's just you're going to get hate. One oh way yeah, you're going to get hate yeah. no matter what you do. And luckily, having a kid involved, it's probably we've had a few early in the game that we had to block. I mean, it was just stupid comments yeah. that were like just hateful, weird stuff, right? And trolls. So basically, I was right? having yeah, and so I was having to watch, filter quick block ignore yeah but that's all kind of settled down i think people now it's more great stuff yeah i mean oh, we're, we're, like we're, we get really good feedback and that's fun. good that's that, really good that's yeah. what i that's what i see and that's what i like and honestly because of watching your videos when i would watch them and you give your opinion and say I, i've never watched this movie like, I feel like that made me be more authentic because right. I could lie to the customer or I can go on Facebook and say, oh, my God, anime is so my favorite show or yeah, this anime is right. mine or this is my favorite character. But I saw the genuine from you guys like, oh, yeah, th they, this pop is cool. We've never seen it. So we don't really care about yeah. it. Yeah, I think um, you could go down this trap of trying to be knowledgeable on all. Yeah all the lines and be able to explain it but we found out okay we're better served to just say what we do know and Which, what we yeah. don't know and mm -hmm. we don't do this line and it's no offense to you guys matter of fact today this afternoon right before we came down here we watched our first episode of one piece <laughs> oh, <laughs> say we it's did. true we watched it uh, you ever seen this thing i haven't yet it is so po i'm like okay tay we're watching this one piece we're gonna watch one episode <laughs> one There's episode like one like thousand. thousand episodes oh so no yeah. it's josh have you watch you have seen <laughs> this i've seen it All yes of them? no 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 god no. so do you just skip them <laughs> it was, uh, i don't know how people have that attention span for me it's yeah. like i'm gonna need a whole month without work without to uh, grind. To just, grind. Just and you pure, can't do that. You need to work. Yeah. I, I, I need to work because I need pop. So, but uh, no, it's just, it's so much. There's so much going on. I have my up, or it has its ups and downs. Of course. Yeah. It's, it's pretty great. You know, the character development, all that stuff's great. But the amount of episodes there is. Oh, bro. I saw somebody break down. It would take you 11 days running 24 hours a day to do the whole thing. No, I... Oh, wow. I mean, it's crazy. So do you just skip around or do you watch it so, all in a row? Well, some people, you know, 
are crazy enough to do it like that but mm-hmm. you know half of what one piece is and i like to tell customers this is just filler episodes mm-hmm. it'll be one moment you know it's a recap of the last episode the next you know five minutes or so will be a progression of the story okay and then the last is gonna be like oh what's gonna happen in the next all story right. all right wow. so it's well, it's what did you guys think one? about the first one i mean it was, it was a trip i i mean some of the stuff that was said i go wow <laughs> it was like I didn't even know what I was really watching. I just was trying to. We haven't seen any anime. We oh. don't do any of it. So this and is our they, first. So even just their talking. Like, Hold that up. Wow. Ah! <laughs> <You know? Yeah, laughs> yeah. The way they project. I mean, it was just. Yeah, it was cool. I, and I, the I animation's so like kind of weird too, right? What's like, that? There's like still moments in the anime yeah. from what I've seen. So I saw a little bit of uh, Demon Slayer because my wife was watching it. And it, it tripped me out how the animation, like, all of a sudden, they're, like, this tiny miniature character. I, I don't know. I don't <laughs> oh, know like, the little cutesy thing. moments yeah. where they have? Yeah. yeah. So, I feel like that's more Demon Slayer than uh, One Piece. One, One Piece has, Piece, like, a different... Different um, vibe? Yeah, different animation. <laughs> okay. I feel like One... I mean, I know nothing. <laughs> but this One Piece has a following. I mean, they've yeah. got oh, yeah. their One Piece... I mean, I'm sure you see it in the store. Hands down, yes. But, like, they got One I mean, Piece... People dressed up, one piece. Yeah. If I watched thing. a thousand episodes of something, I would be like, that's <laughs> we watched my... a thousand episodes of The Office. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, that's The Office. It's got Michael Scott and all the, you know, lovable characters. Yeah, yeah. But well, <laughs> we're going to give it a run. We might watch a few more. No, it's... Oh, and you said this was different. your first anime, right? Yeah. Such a bold choice. <laughs> was it a bold <laughs> choice? <laughs> only a thousand. Wow. Only, what's an easy what one? Would what would you say what's a would be the right anime, anime right. launching point? Oh, that's... For, like, non... like non anime non anime uh, You know, cliche Demon Slayer. There's not a lot right now, you know... Beautiful story, yeah. beautiful animation for it, you know. But One Piece, that's just, you're bombarded <laughs> with so many episodes. And yeah. the lore gets different and different. Because you guys out. are going to get to the point where they actually voyage out and start doing their thing. Even then, it's like, come on, get get to where you got to go. And we oh, heard okay. it doesn't get good for a while. Yeah, you're going to have that area where it's like, oh, like, what am I can watching? you be, Yeah, like, what am I watching? Can I skip this? <laughs> they just threw us into the first episode. <laughs> His big lady swinging a hammer. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> yeah, Rubber so band hand got I, It was a trip. What is the one Braden watches? He watches an anime. You watch Demon Slayer, I think. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got him a pop sign? Yes, that, I think. Demon Slayer. Yeah. There you go. Slayer. Maybe. It was like a water dragon. Uh, oh, okay. That one's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I feel like that's just my biased opinion of, you know, Demon Slayer. Because I've seen the last uh, season. Great. I love it. People Legit. like that one a so, lot. Yeah. But, you know, there's other animes. I you think know, Demon everybody's Slayer different. is kind of like the modern day anime, basically. Basically. Just so it's, it's hooking all these younger crowds right, right. to get into it. And, like, I guess One Piece is an older, older piece. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z is the classic. It's like, yeah, every you know, a lot more people know about Dragon Ball Z. I feel yeah, like. I feel like I could start at Dragon Ball Z, but I haven't tempted. I'm, I'm still trying to catch up on SpongeBob <laughs> <laughs> because I went. We went Three to a seasons. musical. Yeah, okay, and okay. Uh, it was. I liked it. It, it was weird, <laughs> and it, but I liked it. Yeah. And like, I'm trying to start to watch SpongeBob, okay. and I think like I some sneaky humor in there. Yeah, yeah, and like Josh gave me it. some good advice. He's like, just worry about the first three seasons, and after first that, three seasons, yep. don't even like just play it in the background or whatever. So I've been trying to kind of get into it. Okay, um, that's me in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my feet wet. Yes. First sixty-one episodes. <laughs> Sixty. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. You'll have One Piece as a background noise for a good. Well, see, we got the oldest leaving the house, so it's just gonna be Tate and I. So I thought, uh-huh. you know what, I mean, it'd be kind of fun to watch a few of these. Great way to yeah. kill time, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Good luck. Appreciate that. <laughs> bit off something here. But, but see, no. you guys are authentic, and that's what I appreciate, and that's yeah. what uh, kind of got me into, like, okay, I'm, I'm going to let some customers, I think we one time got a bad review because I, they're like, oh, the owner's not into anime. And like you know, blah blah blah. Like you know, like like I'm sure the Funko CEO does not watch anime either. <laughs> yes, but yeah, right. he curates to his customers. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I found that out firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him that story. So um, it was my first signing event, right? Yeah. So Mike, of course, he was there. Mike I had Booker. him 
sign the Funko Pop, and he, I, I told him I was like, it's my first signing. He's like, oh great. Digs and in Josh his bag. was like this. Yeah, I was like, Josh was yeah, like, nervous. You know, first signing, so you know how that goes. Anyways, he digs in his bag, pulls out a proto. He's like, oh yeah, look, here's a Dragon Ball Z pop. And I was like, uh, I don't think that's Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> it's not Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I was like, it's, it's, oh, it's Asta. Know? Nah, yeah, and he just like brushed it off like, oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So. That's but but yeah, er, er, there's gonna be people that are gonna complain and are not gonna oh because you don't like anime, I'm not gonna support your channel, yeah, yeah, or yeah. I'm not gonna like. That's what I tell everybody: is just be authentic to what you like, that's to what advice. you like to watch. But everybody has their own c- category, you know. Everyone's mm-hmm. not gonna be into all of these things unless you're yeah. getting forced into it. Yeah, that's yeah. the problem about right. you know. And I think that's where, because we were trying to figure out is new collectors as mm. a channel what are we what are we going after here because you can go down a million lines or do we pick a line and grind on that line or what, mm-hmm. what is it going to look like for us so we got good advice early collect what you love yeah yeah that's, that's what i tell that's what we advice. tell everybody and, oh collect what you love you guys like you too many never things get we love it all <laughs> you guys like too many things you yeah. guys have, have well, see <laughs> anime is the only thing that's why we can't love it oh yeah, we got to get out <laughs> no Anime. We, we obviously love Office. We love Marvel. Breaking Bad. Um, we yeah. love Breaking Bad. Show me your tat. Wait. Ah. <laughs> I got my Heisenberg and I got my Walter over yeah. here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, but I just think that if you do collect what you like, you're not that bothered by these price fluctuations of I'm getting a grail to get a grail because I mm-hmm. want to resell it in a year and make money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I think if you go in with that mindset – that's you're gonna you, you lose. Get burned, man. You know, get burned, lose. You're gonna get bored of it. You thought something was gonna go crazy, and it didn't. And you know, it is what it is. So. Well, in the way our house works, our studio is one of our living rooms, right? So mm-hmm. mom had to green light turning a nice space in our house, mm-hmm. and right where you walk in the door mm-hmm. into the Funko Kingdom. Now yeah. it's an attraction. And now <laughs> nice. we uh, people, tickets. people Start come selling in tickets. and they, <laughs> they just can't Whoa. believe what they're looking at. Because the first right <laughs> you walk in the door and people that don't know the game are mm. like, what is going what on? What is but wrong with don't freaking you love the me feeling? out? Like explaining what like the we whole. Do. Oh, yeah. It's great. Isn't and then it? seeing their reactions like, yeah, that one's worth 1500 bucks. And, and they're like, like what? I can't believe it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's this big. What yeah. yeah. And you're I, like, the, the welcome to the cult. Part. You want to join the cult? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but okay, how, maybe this recruiters is, a good question is what we are. You guys, because we get asked a lot, like, at least at where I work, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I work with seniors. So when I try to explain to them what a Funko Pop is, only thing I can tell them about is like, it's, well, it's a bobblehead. Picture, oh, a bobblehead. They kind of. <laughs> so, <laughs> how would you guys, somebody who's flown in here from outer, how do you explain a Funko Pop? I would tell them it's a bobblehead. You <laughs> no, do? I'm just kidding. Not, yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> no. All right. Well, it's. Mm, I tell them it's a toy and a collectible that's been around for since like 2012, 2013. So a toy collectible. Collectible toys. Collectible toy. Toys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, okay, okay. But on the box it says it's not a toy. You See, I would never call it. That's like blasphemy. Because it, it's like it's treason. <laughs> what do you say, Josh? Well, uh, this. I just tell him it's it's a collectible. You know, yeah. it's a collectible. Yeah. However yeah. you want to use it, you know, it's going to be if you want to take it out of the box or whatever you want. You know, that's just up to you. And they ask me, like, what's so special about it? And I'm like, yeah, some of them go up in value. Some of them don't. A lot of people collect them for what they love and stuff like that. And it's a whole rabbit hole, you know. Yeah. yeah. Just sum it I, all I up. I hate when people ask, oh, what do you do for a living? <laughs> yeah, we have stores at the mall. <laughs> what, really? What are they? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So we have a store. Where there's these collectible toys. So then I just kind of go to my phone, show my Instagram, and they're like, oh, that's cool. Like, you know, yeah. but yeah, it's yeah. it's kind of tough an sometimes. Awkward explanation. Yeah, I just find myself doing it a lot, and I'm like, I have never found a really clear, <laughs> and easy answer that doesn't yeah. involve the word toy, collectible, bobblehead, or yeah, I don't know. It's. Mm-hmm. I it's always immediately go to like baseball card reference. Yeah, that's the yeah. best way to explain. The easiest it. way for me to explain to somebody yeah. like. Picture yourself collecting baseball. There, there's certain cards that are really hard to get, worth mm-hmm. a lot of money. It's the same with these. 
Oh, I get it. <laughs> that seems to be my go-to. Okay. Yeah, now that's a solid reference because everyone's going to know what, you know, yeah, yeah, baseball yeah. cards or even Pokemon cards are. So that's like a good reference to yeah, kind of go off of. So do you collect a lot of Funko Pops? Uh, ever since I started working here, yes. Ooh. So What's your it's favorite? been a great job. My favorite has to be like signature wise or like, yeah, you know, everything. Just, just everything all wise. Of it. Well, it would have to be That's the a tough question. Yeah, no, it's it's like trying to pick which one's your favorite kid, and it's like I don't know. <laughs> um, if I had to pick one, but you know, love them equally, I think I would choose Johnny Depp, the signature Johnny Depp. Oh, Ooh, wow! Yeah. What did he okay. sign? So he signed the the dinosaur shrubs. I can't remember the number. It's like but a, it six a six inch, inch box. Yeah, and that's oh, the one I yeah. got here. Wow! So that's cool. That's cool. That's yeah. Cool. All right, so we'll go to you. One pile. <laughs> your collection is burning down. We know our favorite of it. You're burning down. You got time to grab one, and it can't be a fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> What's it gonna be? What is it gonna be? Wow. Um, the whole case. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boom. The whole case. Um, I would say I recently added this one to the collection as the Iron Man. The 20, what is it, 2014, 2014 Iron Man. 2013. Um, him without the, the the helmet. Okay. Um, that's the one that I would take mm. home. Okay. Um, okay. Just because I haven't looked for it, but I randomly found it on a Facebook group, and I ended up getting a really good deal for it. Okay. And, um, and since I can't get a, f- a Freddy Iron Man, um, <laughs> that's the closest thing I'm going to get to something like that. So okay. I think... That one kind of holds the value. And to be able to go and say, hey, um, you know, I, I like it, I want it, and I'm able to grab it. Um, now that, you know, I have a shop and i kind of been, uh, you know, we've been successful and everything, it's cool to add something like that. that that's something that would have been hard to get. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that's cool. Not everybody's going to be able to grab one of those. So Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. What's yours? Our house is on fire. <laughs> Not here. Stop looking at sign Mike over there. Your collection. I know. Bro. I got you. I got you. One thinking. One soda or pop. We're burning down. Probably our Freddy Funko Night King. Okay. Just because we hunted that for so long. That was his ultimate grail. Mm-hmm. Really. Yep. Grandma came in strong for a birthday. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And uh, yeah. We actually got that, that on a Grail's Facebook page. Mm-hmm. I know you're on that. I know, I know what you're talking about. That's where I got the Iron Man. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But that, one of the main guys on that has all the Freddy Venoms, the Venoms. Mm-hmm. <laughs> man, that do not or whatever. That's a new <laughs> one. What are you talking like, about? Bro, Frenums? All those the, Frenums. The Frenums. That's a new Frenums. one. That's what I said. No what one say? said that. I you made it. it up. We say it. We're the old crew. Yeah, bro. <laughs> the <friend laughs> old. He's got those crazy pops, right? But we got that from him, uh-huh. and we sourced that thing forever to find a good box mm-hmm. the uh-huh. right way. And man, that guy came through. And uh, so that would be your go. That your go. Oof. That's what not is fair. It? You guys, there's two of you guys. Yeah, we get two then. <laughs> you guys get two. Ooh, picks. Yeah. I'm really hard because my go-to is Cap. Mm-hmm. Cap is my guy. Uh, but I'm also a diehard Marvin the Martian guy. True. Oh. So I would be torn to whether to grab my, like, orange Marvin, because we got the green, the pink, and the orange. Orange is the hardest one. So I w- but then I would go to that World War II cap. We got the con sticker. And mm-hmm. I would probably go there. Cause yeah. Just, I mean, I sourced that one forever. That's true. Oh, and then I have the Ken Griffey Jr. that I sourced forever. <laughs> nice. that I was like, that's my guy there. I don't know. That's the beauty of Funko, though, right? Yeah. Like, you look around your room. We just sit there because we watch TV in that room. and we just, That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, there's stories behind it, right? It's oh, there's stories like, behind mm-hmm. every that's pop. That's the beauty of it. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, one of my um, – the guy that we just did a podcast with, Mike, um, in San Diego, he's – we we were busy. We only got to do like a thirty minute podcast, but he showed me this pop, which was a chase. I think it was, I can't remember what it was, but it, it, he his story was like, that was the very first pop he bought, okay. right? Yeah. And he bought it online through GameStop, and when he ordered it, it came in and it was a chase, 
and he wanted the original one. <laughs> and he complained. Oh, my to, gosh. He called the customer service for GameStop and was like, hey, you guys sent me the wrong thing. I didn't want Dude. this variant. I wanted the other one. And that's when he discovered what Funko Pops were. Wow. <laughs> that's a crazy that's story to see. Crazy story. And he still has it. And it's probably not worth anything. But he, it, it, it's sentimental to see that. He's like, yeah, I didn't even want this. Why does it have this sticker? And it's not the one that I ordered online. Yeah. And we're talking about like 2014 or, you know, because even nowadays people don't know what Funko is. You tell them Funko, yeah. you're standing outside that Walmart on Fun in the Run. And they're like, what, what are you guys are standing you in line for? I would rather say, hey, I'm waiting for the new PS6. Yeah, right, uh, right, so right. they leave me alone and they're like... What is Funko? You know, yeah. <laughs> that goes back to but, earlier conversation. Right? Yeah, like, like just, I think that's the thing that Funko. So where do you see Funko then in the next twenty years? Well, cool I had question. somebody ask me that. Like, where do you see Funko ahead, in take. twenty years from now? Hmm. Twenty years from now, you'd be thirty-six. <laughs> little thirty-six kids year old. Coming. Are you are you hooked on Funko still? I don't you? see it being as popular. I just, in 20 years? I don't know how many more they can make. Yeah, I think they've that made them all. That is a real problem that they might have is, okay, you only can do so many caps. You can only do so many Dwights. Mm. This you is why they're trying to I changed the hand up. I did down. I did look this way. I did it. You know, it's like at some point, I don't, it's, but I don't know if it's a, I don't know, 20 mm. years, man. 20 years. I think it's why you're seeing them start these like blockbuster mm -hmm. rewinds or they're trying to just mm -hmm. throw some stuff up on the wall to see if it yeah. sticks mm -hmm. so we can pivot and maybe go over here. It's like the sodas, I think, was that they hit a home run with sodas yeah. because they went with the chase variant. It was a kind of a game. It really captured the heart of content because we could buy a bunch and make content real easy yeah. by opening a soda. Mm -hmm. Um and I think that's a win for them. They need another soda to hit. Something else like a soda. And I don't know if it's these rewinds. <laughs> I'm just I don't know. I, I <laughs> think they're terrible. Again, your opinion. My opinion. Three, yeah. but you Three saw years a ago, lot of people coming I out. thought the same thing about sodas. Oh, yeah. Like, no, well, we a made, lot of people like, nah, I'm not in sodas at no, all. I'm not and and we're going, yo, sodas are the real deal. We were like no. trying to convince you <laughs> because we bought the first generation of all of them. Yeah. So we, we're lucky because that's, we got that's, all the old school sodas. That's what I'm saying is like there's a number on them and there's a sticker. In 10 to 15 years from now, those might not even exist. They're not going to exist because supposedly that's all they made, right? Right. So we hope. How, we, hope <laughs> we hope they don't <laughs> Maybe, them. maybe not. But it, you had that first run, and it's happening now with the like a one-piece pop. Uh, Monkey D. Luffy. Oh, That's we know guy. that That's guy. That's our guy, the long arm, rubber band arm. <laughs> <laughs> they got, so they got excited. So we can actually talk educatedly. Yeah. So the we original, know, we the Monkey D. Luffy match. Yeah. So now they were in a basket or a barrel in the oh. ocean. Well, we saw that. <laughs> we so, digress. So, yeah, so he came, he got reprinted as a pop, yeah. and now there's a different value between the first print yeah. and the reprint. Right. Uh, so there's like a, what? How much of a difference? Like two, three hundred dollars. Two, three hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the print date on the original one? I think it was twenty seventeen. I, I think twenty sixteen. Twenty twenty sixteen. I think. Yeah, twenty sixteen. Yeah, yeah. And now they just did the last run of them, right. and they're comparing the values to the mm -hmm. original and ones. I, I don't know. I think Funko does a good job of truly understanding. Okay, when you vault a pot. Mm -hmm. and we don't make it anymore, that value goes through the roof, right? Because mm -hmm. you know as a collector this is vaulted. Mm -hmm. Different than these But I think there's some stuff. that don't go crazy, though. No. That have been vaulted? That yeah. That have been vaulted. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. Well, we were taught, we were looking at our collection. So not everything. Day, and we got a San Diego Comic-Con uh, hair bear, purple hair bear, right? Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. piece counts low. What is it? 750. 750. 750 con sticker, hair bear. Hard to get your hands on. It's mm -hmm. worth like sixty bucks. Yeah, I mean it's just weird, right? Like yeah. there's some. Well, I don't know if it's the line. Nobody cares about hair bear. Yeah, or mm -hmm. it's just I don't know. I don't know what it is. But there's mm -hmm. certain pops that get vaulted. You're right, and they don't just skyrocket because it got vaulted. 
Yeah. It's popularity, basically. Yeah. I know the <laughs> one that everyone's still looking for is Ghostface. They vaulted that one, and that's still the crazed pop as yeah. of recently. Yeah. No and doubt. with the amount of movies they're producing of it, we yep. always have customers come in. Well, then you get the Ghostface one word, get it two words. Yeah, yeah there's right? that too as well. And I think those are like air prints back in the day, and now they're like worth more. Worth yeah. less. So maybe this sticker error. It might be worth something. Boom. So yeah. what we're saying is, okay, because as we're filming this, we're right in the middle of boxes being distributed, yeah. right? So we don't know every box that's out there. I think a lot have been shown. We have a pretty mm-hmm. good idea. The, the cap is a problem for the metallic. Big problem. Yeah. Big problem. Megatron, metallic, big problem. Dwight, big problem. What's so funny about this whole thing, if it settles like it does, the cap that you guys have, 500-piece, non-metallic, mm-hmm. might be the standout because it's not been duplicated. Oh, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Like the metallic, yeah. who's 250, thinking that's the 250 sweet spot. and what, 3,000 other ones? And then the other 500 stay by itself. Yeah. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how this, the whole thing shakes out. Yeah, that is crazy. So the thing is, one of... Uh, co-worker i work with said that there might be a difference one of the caps might not have the shield behind them yeah and the other cap probably does so i know yesterday on all of the facebook pages all of this was yeah. going around right and the shield talk came out a lot yeah and then it got debunked really yeah mm-hmm. well somebody had them both and they showed it oh and okay. so but then the other thing it was which from which marvel was the cap he didn't have that shield on him infinity infinity war, war. yeah yeah, so that, because they just take the head off, right? Put a Freddy <laughs> head on. <laughs> Everyone knew that didn't have a shield. And then they actually got their hands on it, and it was like, crap. Because we were all kind of hoping that, like, uh-huh. maybe the shield. And then I know Gasselcast was talking about the fist. And, well, look, maybe it's a little more open. I mean, they're just <laughs> grasping at straws. And it's like, yeah, no, no hoping no. it sticks as well, too. But it's the same pop. And it's a problem. Yeah. yeah. It's a problem. But with the Megatron, I think the one of them does have the the blaster. He's holding the blaster, but still, it doesn't justify the fact that it's still the exact same pop they released that. But see, days. having a blaster changes it. Yeah, That's I mean, good. Hey, I'm I mean, ex- we were count. I mean, just put an armband on the cap. <laughs> do do anything. Do something different. Even hey, the same box. box, same number. Same I'm everything. excited so that I don't have to look at a pop and know if it's metallic or not. Now I know it's metallic. Now they have a cool little <laughs> no, no. metallic sticker. <laughs> yeah, <there you> go. <laughs> well, I think you, at the, at how it all shakes out, you're sitting on that 500 piece. I don't know if you're keeping it or selling it, but mm-hmm. it's like that. That might be the one. And for some people, it's tough because you paid all this money, right, to yeah. get in. Yeah. And if you wait to see what happens, if that Captain America is going to be worth more than all those bigger count ones, right. like you can't sit there and wait. No. And, and then what if you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to sell it for 300 bucks, And then two months from now, okay, this is the most limited Captain America. Yeah. Yeah. It's worth $2,000. I know. So what do you it's do? It's a guessing game. And then you got people who are flipping it yeah. the day of, and people yeah. secondhand hope, think, okay, this might go skyrocket. Mm-hmm. I'm getting in. Even though it's expensive, I'm getting in, Honestly, and then they got burned. Honestly, the thing with that, I feel like – it's people across other countries as well, too, or people from the East Coast that can't make it to fun days. They're saying, okay, I'm going to spend $200 to go in there, yeah. and I want this Captain America really bad. Right. So I'm going to pay $500. Right. I'm already paying $200 if I was to fly. That's not including my flight if I'm that's, coming all the way from the New York. That's real. It would have cost me way more to go there than mm-hmm. to buy this on a, even though it's jacked up price on eBay. But then they go and do that, and then the sticker thing happens, mm-hmm. and then you're left holding the bag. Yeah. So yeah, so there's there to gamble. It's I tell gamble. everybody, it's a gamble. Yeah. It's, it's it's a gamble. Um, the second hand buyers, you get burned. You live and learn. I mean that that's on you. You made the yeah. call. You went with your gut. You got burned or you didn't. But the guys like you that went there, that's the one that we were like, ah, I feel bad for the guys mm-hmm. that went. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you can watch that video as we rant. <laughs> yeah, we ran on that video on their channel. Tate's worn out by the conversation. <laughs> We've had amazing. a lot of this conversation at home. I think me and Tate could relate on that. We're like, okay, what are we gonna do? There's not much we can do about it. Um, we can sit here and cry and cry, but we're not gonna sit here and cry if if I'm able to sell one for two thousand bucks. Funko, what the heck? Like, yeah. I'm making so much money. <laughs> where everybody's always gonna complain about about. 
the bad part of it. So yeah. I, I think I at the you. end of the day, we have to. I'm more than anything. I'm happy that I was able to go and mm-hmm. experience it for the first still time. Still a lot of great stuff too. Yeah, still yeah. a lot of great stuff, sentimental stuff that I uh, that I'll want to c- kind of keep yeah, for man. the memory. No doubt. Uh-huh. Um, you know, we got all the hats. Yeah, no, I saw that. Yeah, yeah that's so all just cool memories. It's it was a cool memory and it was something cool to experience and we just learned from it and we're going VIP next year. Yeah, I mean we have one year yeah. to make that happen. Yeah, we'll make it happen. We're gonna, we got to make that. We got to represent Arizona because yeah. Who? What other content creators are coming out of Arizona? Right Not now? a lot. That's gonna be us. We already <laughs> know Mike Becker. Yeah. yeah, we do know Becker. Uh, yeah, he likes Scottsdale and he came out here mm-hmm. uh, you know burning that. the heat. Well, I will tell you as we talk about collectors and where we are in twenty years, my wife. In college, collected all things Beanie Babies. Uh huh. And so when the haters come at Funko, that's the first little hand grenade they throw. These are Beanie Babies. These no, are Beanie Babies. You guys are gonna get burned. And you didn't hear my. And I got a whole shed full of them, still in protectors. <laughs> I got the Rainbow Bear and the Princess, Princess Diana Princess Bear, Diana, and nice. all the tags are perfect. Hey, let's reach out to Funko and tell them to make those into pops. I mean, Ooh, Beanie they Babies. Might blow up. See, but what that, do you think? What do you think but when somebody throws that shade at Funko about Beanie Babies? I mean, what's your response? I don't think so. This is my opinion in 20 years. They got us with the pop culture. That's the difference between Beanie Babies mm-hmm. and Funko. Yeah, they were able to establish good relationships with all these licensed companies. Yeah. If you think about it, they have the biggest license book, license library. Oh, between um, the NFL, NBA, all the sports, all the music, all the movies. I, I can't it's believe It's hard to find do. something they haven't done that's yeah. not just like a little TV show. And we complain, yeah. oh, they should do this character. They should do Mario <laughs> Pops. But, that's, man, think about how many licensing meetings they have to do. Oh, it's crazy. So in 20 years, I think they will still be around. Um it maybe it might not be pops. Maybe it'll be something else since they're trying Three so lines? many different uh, different things, you know. So that's my opinion. Is they have it locked down with the with the licensing. The only issue is if these licenses see that they're making more money, they might go hold up, hold up. Kind of like Netflix. Yeah. Kind of Netflix got burned because oh, hold on, you're making money off of my content on Disney. Disney goes, hey, I'm going to build my own platform. Right. So right. what if that happens? Disney goes, you know what? I'm going to create this character, kind of yep. my own kind of pop, and screw you, Funko. Yeah. Or something like that could honestly, happen. Honestly, that's because we are repping the brand of yeah. Funko, and when they do stuff, missteps, like these stickers, that's where I get nervous because mm-hmm. we're repping the brand of Funko. Like We yeah. are passionate We've spent a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Um, we want them to succeed, obviously, mm-hmm. right? And we're yeah. like, man, don't drop the ball. And <laughs> on like, what? And like the, the stickers. stickers. <laughs> 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 I bankroll this. I can complain. But here's my thing, too. They've gotten so big that everybody was like, okay, the pops for San Diego suck. And everybody says that every year. Year. Oh, they didn't come out with that really cool things. They didn't come out with really good pops. They should have had this. They should have had that. But guess what? They sold pallets and pallets and pallets and pallets and pallets of it. Right. So they're going to keep doing what they're doing. Yeah, they're going to they're going to keep doing what they do. I mean, it's working for them, so I don't see why they're going to stop. Yeah. And what's crazy is, you know, they don't have to pay for like commercials and whatnot because content creators oh, is bro, what's yeah. doing that for yeah, them. We do all their We're advertising. We're here like, yeah. Funko this, Funko that. And everybody's like, what's Funko? So they do the research and it's like, oh, that's the thing I bought my grandkid the yeah. other day. And then all that stuff, you know. And then they make their way to yeah. Pop on Thrills. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yo, <laughs> go. So that's, that's, that's the crazy part is, you know, we're giving them this Free promo. Um, yeah. And that's what yeah. I was asking you was like last year fun days happen but you didn't really see content compared to this year we saw we seen like box attack he's probably the biggest mm-hmm. phoenix guy um he's kind of been in and out of the game a little bit but he seems to whine he was at this one i mean oh, he really ends, like, i yeah, didn't know he, he was, was there i just mm-hmm. talked to him he was like yeah when it yeah. does he still make videos yeah he's on in and out in and out and he loves his turtles ninja turtles yeah. is all about but yeah. he uh he's a guy that you know 
he threw some videos together from the last one, and that was kind of it. You didn't and see now they're like yeah, live streaming a million channels, whatnot. The next day is flipping pop. I mean, there was a lot yeah. of hype there, man. So I think we're giving it, and I think that's why Funko this time came around and put out a statement. I haven't read the statement yet. Um, I want to read it and analyze it and give my opinion on it. But I I think that's a good thing for the collecting community. Why? Because they would have never acknowledged that a year ago. If somebody if they did something wrong with the their head down fun and days, ignore yeah, ignore it and, and nobody right listens. Yeah. Out. And we can complain all we want, but they're gonna keep doing what they're doing. So I think I think we're headed in a good direction where they're hearing people that it got to them. And I feel like, honestly, Fun on the Run made them realize, oh, there's people out here creating content on our brand. Yeah. There's creators. So we need to stick to that. That's why um, That's why we're going VIP next year, yeah, first no of all. <laughs> <laughs> because we have our opinions and we want our community to follow all that. Right. But I think they saw that and they saw people going from Nashville all the way to San yeah, Diego Comic Con. Yeah. People that create loyal, content, loyal. build content. Yeah. They're seeing that loyalty from social media. And so they had to put a statement. They out. had to because some of the biggest channels out there that are Funko loyalists, like through mm -hmm. and through from the beginning, were the ones that were the most mm -hmm. upset. Yeah. So I think. They probably powwowed yesterday saying we've got to say something. Yeah. Do you want me to and read it? they're listening. It? Yeah, read it. I yeah, have it pulled it. up. Here we go. Dear fanatics and Camp Fun Days campers, it That's has been me. brought to our attention <laughs> <laughs> that there may be an issue with the stickering on this year's Fun Days box of fun. Mm -hmm, we want to assure you that we are taking this matter very seriously and are actively investigating. When we label a product <laughs> as exclusive, it is a commitment to our fans, and we understand that this has raised doubts about that promise. Please know we are working diligently to investigate. For those of you who were able to attend Fun Days, we hope you still had a great time connecting with your Funko community and enjoyed the celebration. We will provide an update as soon as we have more information, but please feel free to reach out to customer service with any concerns. They didn't mention the chicken. I heard the chicken was pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> they talk about food. I don't know. I think yeah. that is a well-constructed PR, HR, yeah. blanket statement. We didn't they really apologize for anything. No, they were We didn't like, really own it. Issue. We but call it sticker issues. We're looking into Not a it. complete yeah. lie about peace count, uh -huh. which is what it was. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Um, they're yeah. looking into this. They're diligently. looking into investigate. it. Investigate. They say the same thing when my packages don't come. So, right. <laughs> right. No, we all have gotten that email. We'll look into this. Yeah, it's um, like, oh yeah, we'll give you a refund, but we're looking into this. It's but like, see, that's the, I think that's, we, we do we it here too in the store. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> 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 like, they don't, don't, don't put that on us. I feel like when Funko drops stuff, their quality control really isn't pulling their weight. Like. What is the thing that you had? It was like a game on Funko that you earn points and we load with mm, money. Some or, Funko game. But it crashed, right? And you lost all that money. Well, that was because I got a new phone. And well, it was, just came out. It should be an account <laughs> that you have no matter what Yeah, it was are. weird. Yeah. Anyway, I don't the remember. point is they launch things and they don't really have the, I don't know if it's the bandwidth or the like infrastructure behind to mm -hmm. handle what happened. I mean, you see things crash all the time, right? You're yeah. trying to buy something on the line. Crash, crash, crash. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But... Maybe they're looking at it. Maybe we're going to all get surprised. Hopefully. And you guys that went, maybe you're going to get some special thing in the mail I want a discount to for make that, it up for you. For that chicken sandwich. <laughs> they still don't I feel right. The stomach's yeah. just not set. Is that what was happening? I was maybe just, they were yeah. <laughs> poison you all. The chicken so then was you like know. bland. Like there was no flavor to it or uh, anything. It was weird. They were Man, trying to poison you. I saw somebody on, <laughs> I saw somebody on one of the Grail sites. Yeah post a picture of their chicken sandwich in a bag one is like piece count one of whatever <laughs> <laughs> and they were selling it for like a hundred thousand i mean they're joking obviously but yeah. then another one scrolled in on it and there was mold on the top corner <laughs> i mean that was the chase yeah, yeah, yeah. glow in the dark glow in the dark. <laughs> glow in the dark there you go sandwich oh my gosh but, yeah, it's crazy, crazy to see all those things. But I'm glad they acknowledged it and hopefully yeah. uh, at least they acknowledged it. 
I mean, that's all we can. The ask. fact they acknowledged it means that's they know <laughs> we don't like this. They hear the people. We're <laughs> gonna go protest. And they won't do it again. So that's yeah. a win. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But like I said, next year we're going VIP. VIP. What is VIP to you? What, what would we? Be VIP doing? is like yeah, Mike. What is VIP? You were there. What is VIP? <laughs> what do we get? Hey, we don't have to wait a night. Oh, we line. just go. We bounce right in. We bounce right in. We get and right Mike in without the lottery comes. thing. We go pick the litter. And Michael, and then Mike, Mike Becker will come up and we'll do a taste test of that sandwich. Hey, why didn't he put it on his Instagram? <laughs> yeah, he should have did the little twirl he should, thing. like yeah, the yeah, sandwich like, thing. We're trying, the, you know, the Funko sandwich today. <laughs> Fun, <laughs> maker <laughs> Fun maker Mike. Fun maker Mike. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, VIP was like they didn't have to wait in line. Okay. Like they just kind of pulled up and were able to just go just walk, walk in. Right Fun in. maker. I, I, sorry, I don't mean it. I was gonna ask: Is it if you have the badge and there's a line, you mm-hmm. still have to wait in the line? So what's the point of the badge? With this badge? No, I mean like because like aren't you secured a spot and guaranteed one of the boxes? Yeah, yeah, you are. But there's still a line to get in yeah. and pick your team and do all that. And there was people camping out. A day or two before. Yeah. Really? Mm. So all the difference crazy. is just the the team you're going to pick. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You still had to wait. They had to scan your ticket. They, they had to do all that. And, like, then you had to pick your team, which was another thing that I saw bad because we were trying to be – what were we trying to be? The Bears? We were trying to be the Bears. And then all of a sudden they ran out of tables. <laughs> and they had us come over to the wolves. All of a sudden, we had to be the wolves. And then that table <laughs> yeah, ran so out of hats. things. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> traded <laughs> some. <laughs> but, yeah, it, we wanted to be the, the bears. You're like a free agent, man. You just kept getting traded. <laughs> yeah, we just kept moving over because they were running out of tables. And then so we ended up being the eagles. Um, yeah, you so know. we are. We're waiting on our bottom. Yeah. We're eagles. Oh, eagles, no. so, you know what I mean? So that was, like, that was in the part, like, they weren't dividing the people up properly but that's the part i don't get if they had a system where they knew mm-hmm. the amount of count of people that were going to be there why was there no tables why was it so well it's because if say managed. all of us for some weird reason bears are popular everybody went to the bears so everybody wanted to be the bear so those tables sold out mm-hmm. f- faster uh, uh-huh so it, it, and uh so it might have been, and then I don't know if something in the bus was different compared to the Eagles or compared to the Lumberjacks. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, what we've seen come out from some of the s- pictures that are released mm-hmm. from all the Eagles boxes are on fire. Right yes, because they just got revealed today. They, there was, like, none yesterday. What was your strategy? Because, I mean, you know how the game works, right? We're on the computer. Mm-hmm. This is when we thought you could only get one, yeah. which mm-hmm. it said, but you could apparently get one of each mascot. Mm-hmm. I heard that. That which sucked. Which was annoying, but we didn't want to try it. How much it. was the box online? It was 105. 105? Uh-huh. But so we knew, because I had been looking at all these polls before, like, what team are you going to be? It was all the wolves and the bears. So we thought, maybe we do the eagles, and mm-hmm. it won't sell out as fast, because we missed it last yeah, time. last year we didn't get one. Sold so we ours. thought that's a good strategy, and that's what we did. And the it boxes worked. look good for the I Eagles. I think uh, we're in good shape with Eagles. Or okay. I don't know. How do you plan on getting VIP? <laughs> we just got to get popular enough to yeah. Mike Becker know who we are and who and like because they had they had people that are in the media or that are bigger that went through VIP. Yeah. You we know. slid into Mike's DMs. Oh, yeah. He Did didn't you? respond, but he liked our Instagram yeah, post. Nice. Yeah, he nice. did like that. So. He did like that. And we actually won one of the – remember last summer or two summers ago where mm-hmm. they did the uh, p- the photo of the day. It was like Saturday soda photos. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And they'd give you a theme, right? And, and it was th- like, have your favorite soda doing surfing or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. whatever the theme was. Yeah. And so Tate and I – we worked hard on it. It was fun. It was a gold theme. It that was, was great. Fun. And we got all of the sodas doing crazy uh-huh. poses and hung them up. And mm-hmm. it was like, we got creative. That so what did we, we get for that? We got the AP, AP Miguel. Coco. Yep. Yeah. Miguel. So, yeah, I feel like it's um, <laughs> they're paying attention to all the social media people. And uh, that's how we're going to get VIP is we're going to get familiar with Funko. 
um and we just got to blow up and yeah. uh, and be there and i i feel like it's that was a bigger event and so it, it's only going to get bigger and it's only going to get like cuz they had inductees to the hall of fame Oh, wow. And I don't know where these people came from or how Funko knew about them, but they had people come up and win awards. Oh, wow. Oh, really? Like collector, a 25-year... Like a fanatic, like a fanatic award. Mm. Oh, um, so I don't know how they knew about these people. Yeah. They just been to it a bunch. If it was, There was somebody that won it for social media. Um, so they had people that they brought that were special cool. to Funko. Yeah. Um, and they won like well, that's some good awards. They recognize because that is their fans. I mean, so they, the fanatics is what makes Funko work. happen, you know. Yeah. They're, so. they're nothing without us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's true. That is how it works. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it was cool to, and I didn't know that. I didn't know that they did a fanatic award. That's like cool the, you know what I mean. So yeah. that's what I'm telling you. We're gonna. All right, that's what that's our game plan. That's our game plan is to get on the map with Funko and let them know who we are and what we're all about and yeah. to consider our opinions and everything that they do. You know, because not only us, but there's yeah. other people that care about it. Like yeah, that actually care. Hundred percent. Well, I mean, the economy is tough right now. So when you mm -hmm. choose your money to spend on that hobby. You know, you, you, there's a lot of other things you can be doing with that money out there right now. Like, yeah, that's true. You know, the resources everybody has. So, yeah, so it's. Um, but, yeah, it's. it's Funko. Is that Becker right now? <laughs> He's <laughs> oh, watching. Mike, Mike's on the phone. Stop bashing my chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like that comment. <laughs> we need a comment from that. Uh, so if we ever get him on a pod, we'll ask him about yeah, this. Yeah, okay. yeah, he's like, yeah, like you talk about this it. taste <laughs> test. Why no didn't comment. You, why didn't you taste the sandwich before you guys <laughs> gave it out? Yeah. But, yeah, I guess San Diego, don't try chicken sandwich. Bring your there. own. Bring your own chicken bring sandwich. Bring your own sandwich. Sneak that was what it a in. lot of people said. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, it's it's um it's crazy how that that all works, and like I said, hopefully Funko's still around twenty years from now, and you know we can put some input in it and be more part of it. Um, but I think that's that's my opinion on that. Yeah. I'm, I think we're, we share it. I think it'll be interesting to see when some of the major collectors out there, major channels, start slowing down. Mm -hmm. Start piecing off their collection. I, I just we we see it all the time here yeah, in the take shop. In a lot of collections. So. Yeah, so we take in a lot of collections. So there there is people that I still don't know. That's what I'm telling you. So that's why, like for me, and my idea to grow and be secure. Like you said, the economy is not doing that great. Yeah. But guess what? We built our customer service. Yeah. We built the. We try to have the best selection that we can yeah. for our customers. So whether the economy is good or bad, we're still here. And there's still more than 50 people. If you walk around the mall and ask 50 people about Funko Pops or 100 people, more than 70 or 80% of them don't know what a right. Funko Pop right. is. Yeah. So the sky's the limit for us as a shop. For you as a creator, too, the sky's the limit. There's going to yeah, be no a doubt. bunch of people that don't know what a Funko Pop is. How many active YouTube accounts is there? True. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, the no sky's doubt. the limit. Yeah, no, for sure. It, we can do it. If barely our top is Funko Pop, our creator is at 2 million followers. Yeah. How many subscribers does Mr. Beast have? Yeah. Oh, no. So how many more people can we reach with this collecting community? Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's the way I see it. That's the way I see it for our business. We still have a lot of people that we, we need to educate on collecting and all of this. And, you know, you guys are doing it. We're doing it. There's other creators doing it. So our, our opinions should matter to them. And yeah. hopefully in the future, they, it, it they you know, they see that. And it's we're seeing it because last year we didn't see much for fun fun days and this year there was 20 20 creators there whether it was tiktok instagram youtube yeah. no they had yep. yeah no doubt yeah and we so. were on the couch and we were on the couch. watching the couch. them all but well, we were we had fun but you guys tried to get tickets we tried to stream oh. here, but you kept going in and out yeah i yeah, had the same problem there we accidentally <laughs> joined it yeah we joined <laughs> it at one yeah. point <laughs> oh, the, oh these guys <laughs> <going>. <laughs> 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 we don't even know how that happened but 
<laughs> we we had it streamed to the TV. Uh-huh. We wanted it yeah, bigger. Like and at one point, <laughs> we just joined. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, <laughs> I was confused. I was like, who's he bringing on for an interview? <laughs> so report yourself from the from happened. the couch. Hey, we had to get there. You guys somehow. got to. You were our only way. <laughs> you guys have better snack than us, probably. Man, we yeah, were, yeah, yeah they had better chicken I know I had a sandwich. beverage. <laughs> Feeling sorry for myself. Yeah, no, yeah, no doubt. No I doubt. was having fun. All right, man. Oh yeah, we were we were living vicariously through you. Everyone said it's the best one they've we done. We were just so happy you got to go. Yeah. Because yeah. we know you Wasatch. live it, love it, do it for a job and do it for yeah. a hobby. But to, I think it was it was cool to see yeah. you able to go. Yeah. So it was super fun, um, crazy. Um, so yeah, I mean speechless yeah no doubt yeah so well we'll be there fun. with you next year next we'll year be VIP. Next year we'll be yeah, team, right. we'll time. be teaming up yeah, that's cool. and doing it together so hopefully that, that and this time through. the pieces will be limited yeah hopefully let's hope so <laughs> they fixed their sticker problem <laughs> i thought you wanted to be done with this yeah. that was just <laughs> a joke that was just a joke oh, my bad. all right that wasn't so, a that yeah. wasn't a point yeah. but is there anything else that you want to share with our Man, audience i would just say I think anybody that wants to start a YouTube channel, do it. Whether it's Funko or anything, or you're talking about gardening, do it. Do it. Do it. Don't worry about. It. You don't have to have the best equipment. Yeah. You don't have to be a polished speaker. Just put the camera on. Only because, especially if you do it with a kid or you do it with somebody in your family, those videos are locked. They ha- you have them. Yeah. And don't worry about anything you put out. You're gonna get random people com- talking about you or yeah. saying things to you don't get caught up in the noise and be authentic be, be authentic. authentic that would be my only thing don't worry about your equipment obviously you want the best that'd be ideal yeah but we've proven on a cardboard box with an <laughs> iphone and a broken ring light mm-hmm. we got two thousand subs just being yeah. authentic just yourselves right? basically so yeah. it's like it's one of my favorite yeah. youtubers is uh casey Neistat. i don't know if you know who that is mm-hmm. yeah. um yeah okay so he's like you have everybody in this world has the same button as I do. And this guy's big. Okay. He's a big YouTuber. He's like, we have the same exact button that we can upload to. So if I could do, if I could be where I'm at right now, you can too. Right. We all have Great the same point. potential. Yeah. It's, you just had to put yourself out there and uh and it's you know it's it's not easy it's a full-time job yeah but it's it's um you know if you're passionate about it go out there do it like the funko kings do it you know they love collecting they love doing that so you have the same power as they do to get to where they're at we all have the same power yeah i love um, that to do that. that so well i think when you have a relationship like we do it bonded mm-hmm. us and grew us yeah um it was nice to have Tate to have a hobby because he does all our editing. He does everything, yeah. right? I get filming. He'll say it. I literally just get up from the table and walk away. He's got to put everything back together. And he does it quick. Back. He's got to upload. He's got to edit. Yeah. He has software. And, again, it's just the cheap stuff, but he does a good job. He's yeah. in high school right now taking editing classes. Nice. He, nice. he wants to keep getting better at it. I think it's just – it just strikes a little passion. Yeah. No matter where it takes you, at least it forces your hand to try new things too. Yeah. Which is mm-hmm. cool. So. Yeah. So good job, Tate. Good Can job, Tate. It. Thank good you. Job. Keep grinding. Keep going because you don't want to end up being an old man like me and having to sell pops. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing it. You're like that's not a bad option, but no. yeah. No, it's it's a lot of hard work, and for us, like people see the success and people see all this and it didn't happen overnight oh, you know man. we all started from the bottom we all started from you know the ground and we all are going to build up to yep. to wherever we want to go to you know there you go. there's a lot of people out there that don't know about funkos and because of us we're providing that for them that's why we and, need to be vip and that's why we're, <laughs> we're going to be vip them. yeah i mean we're basically helping people yeah <laughs> kind of nice of yeah. us boom I think that's a, that's a wrap. We went over an hour and eight minutes. There you go. Mm. Uh, Got you some good content. Well, thank you guys and, yeah, for man, bringing us nice in. Guys. Yeah, we love We've been excited. Yep. And these guys are a lot of fun. So make sure you guys go and go and check them out on all their socials. 
We're trying to get you guys to 2,000 followers. Yeah, we're right there. We're You're like right nice there. Giveaway. But I will tell you, when I talk about a grind, is like that slow grind. And yeah. Then all of a sudden, but it takes like, and that's where the collaborations with other mm-hmm. channels are so big, right? Like yeah. you could be at a certain moment and then like rock and roll. Back in the day, we'd do a little giveaway if you go yeah. to our channel and like us. And we would be at us doing something and be like, why did we just gain 30 subs? Like, what yeah. would you post? And it was like, no, Rock and Roll would text me like, dude, I just helped you out, man. So it's yeah. fun to have other channels do that. Yeah. Because it, so, it is a grind. I mean, to get to that 2,000, where we want to get in the next couple of weeks, I mean, so, that's what we want to do. A so f- go on our socials, follow us, um, Pop Hunt Thrills. Uh, what is your guys' Instagram? We are a Funko the King. Funko King. The <laughs> Funko King. Someone so stole go it. and follow them. We're gonna think. We're gonna brainstorm of a giveaway, something, something to do for you guys. Um, and go check out their channel. Um, go subscribe to it. We're trying to help them out. They're trying to help us out, yeah, and we're all trying to be a big community. And if you guys want to go VIP next year, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> watch this video. Watch all our content. Help us out. We're all going VIP, baby. So that's how we're going to close it out. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.